you want to scare the shit out of all of your friends, um, you can do this. So I attempted to start this with a uh, white cream face paint that I bought. It was like two dollars, but it did not work out for me like at all. Here I am removing it. Don't waste your time with white cream face paint unless you get like really good white cream face paint because this stuff fucking sucks. So now I'm starting with uh, my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk just because I know that this stuff works and then I'm blending it out with my Real Techniques buffing brush I think, I don't know, something like that. And then I'm just blending it in with my fingers. You just need like a paler base so that the gray shows up better. But now I'm just setting it with a white, I think it's a white shadow that I got from like Wet n Wild or something. Now just take like a cooler toned contour and make sure you have a reference photo. I had a reference photo on my laptop of a weeping angel just so I could get some inspiration but basically you're just gonna want to follow your face shape because no weeping angel is exactly the same only where my cheekbones are and different lines and stuff so yeah it's not all gonna turn out the exact same but this is just how I did it Now, like, you're going to want to scrunch your face and make horrible <laughs> faces that no one should ever see, but that's alright. But I'm just uh, scrunching up my face and making different face shapes so I can get different wrinkles out. But yeah, I'm just taking the same shadow and uh, starting, because it's going to be a lot of blending and a lot of different colors put in, but and it's going to take a while, but it's worth it in the end, so it's all good. And then the lighting got worse because the day was progressing, but I uh, think I'm using a black, just regular black, and then a um, gel liner brush from e.l.f. And I'm just uh, defining the lines in my face more. That's, that's a really pretty face. You want to make sure you keep looking back at your reference photo just to make sure that you're... I mean, you don't want to follow it exactly, but it definitely helps to see where else you could be adding more lines. Just scrunching up the nose and doing a normal contour on the bridge of the nose to just, you know, lightly define it. Just kidding. Good joke, Alicia. So I'm just going in with like grays, different colored grays, like lighter grays and darker grays and black and different brushes just to, you know, add in color, blend it away, add in color, blend it away. Because there's you want it to be blended in some places, but you do want to have harsher lines in other places because it's supposed to be dramatic. It's supposed to, you know, it be creepy. It's a, it's an angel. It's a statue. This took about two hours for me, but this is the first time that I've attempted this makeup look. So, you know, just be patient with yourself and give yourself enough time. Don't rush it. It's going to take a while and, you know, it's fine. The longer you take, the cooler it's going to turn out. So, just keep that in mind. Every line that you make, you're going to want to blend. Just keep blending and adding in color and shading and all that fun stuff. I 
And I decided to keep my eyebrows because blocking them out is just too complicated. And yeah, it's kind of like my interpretation of a weeping angel. Like like I said, all not all weeping angels are going to be the exact same. So just really play with your face shape and come up with something cool. I decided that it wasn't gray enough for my liking so I went through and just kind of dusted a lighter gray color all over. I just wanted to keep this clip in because that face though. And I defined my dimple in my chin just, I don't know, because it's different. Straight out those lips. And don't forget to emphasize your cupid's bow, girlfriend. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out me and Abby's other channel, Gotta Game Fast. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.